Hi guys, this is Sandeep Singh. In this video, we will talk about Google Ads. The interface of Google Ads, the option Google Ads give us uh, to make further changes, to create campaigns, to tweak changes, to monitor changes, uh, to just proceed with the advertising campaigns with Google Ads, Google uh, products and the Google search partners. So it doesn't matter what your company size is, you are a profession or a startup, Google Ads is an essential part of advertising campaign. So let's dive into my screen and have a look over the interface of Google Ads. This is our Google Ads interface. Once you create your account, once you fill up the details and proceed with all the information Google Ads is asking to you to fill up, then you will get the interface or uh, the actually you are looking to screen right now. This will be the interface you will be redirected after filling up your details. So here are a few options tool for, for like tools and setting, help, notification, that's your ad account number, that's your ID with which you have created your ad account. Here you would be seeing uh, the campaign details, the reports of the campaign. When you will be creating your account, Google will ask for, for your uh, campaign, why uh, your, your campaign goal, your details, each and everything Google will ask from billing details, how, how you are going to recharge your account, how you will be billing. Uh, what will the company details each and everything he'll be asking to you once you are done with all those things definitely you can tweak those uh tweet a lot of lot of things later like for example if you want to tweak uh some things regarding to a company details or your tax information you can go to the billing and payments and you can fill up the information so just after doing all those uh, creating your account new stuff you will be redirected to the uh, you will be redirected to the screen this is the interface of google ads we'll be using this is the interface of the new Google Ads, uh, which uh, which the Ads account uh, have enabled for us. And the uh, earlier earlier Google Ads interface was something like this. Uh, I'm gonna show you that. So this is the previous uh, version of Google Ads. Previous in the interface, there were a lot of options. For example, like reports, tools and setting, refresh, help, notification. Uh, definitely I'll uh, introduce you to uh, this interface also so if the old users of Google Ads account are uh, watching this video they'll be uh, it will be really helpful for them also otherwise uh, as we are creating this video for the 2022 version uh, this will be the interface you will be getting so let's start with tools and setting in tools and setting there are options six options first starting from billing and payments access and security preferences convergence audience manager keyword planner so let's start from keyword planner on keyword planner we have uh, i have already created a, uh, a long enough video for explanation of keyword planner how it works how we use uh, it for uh, research for the keyword and how we will use it in uh, in ad campaigns so you can go to that uh, that video another option is our audience manager let's go to the audience manager in audience manager you create your audience you create audience, you sort out your audience, you get insights, uh, you create your audience according to the uh, your website, your app, your videos, how users have interacted with your content. So you put uh, you pull up those details once you have uh, once you have the tag installed over your pages or the app. You can pull up the uh, pull up the data from there that how uh, how your audience is reacting, uh, what your audience is doing, what they are interested in. So you can set up in, uh, so just after clicking on the audience tab, you will get here options, your data segments, custom segments, combined segments. Uh, coming this side, there will be your, da your data insights. Uh, currently we don't have any insights. We do, we haven't run any campaign. So there are no insights for the, uh, for the data. Okay. Just a second. Okay. So once you have click on the audience, there is an option of set up an audience segment. So here, here you can uh, pull up your data uh, for the, if you have uh, analytics installed for your website, you can pull up the information from there or for your app or for your YouTube channel. So you can just pull up your uh, data and you can you create your audience. So when you will be running ads, you can target those audience. For example, if you want to redirect, retarget your audience, those who have watched your video, you can just pull up those, uh, pull up that data and you can just uh, advertise your content in front of them. Or you can create an audience uh, uh, in respect of their interest, in respect of their choice. 
so you can target if someone is interested in e-commerce and they are just looking for the shoes you can target uh, target around those keyword like for example shoes and if he's looking for the uh, red shoes you can target the uh, audience according to that so in this tab you can create your audience and when uh, when you'll be running your campaign you can just pick up it from there another option is conversion conversion comes when we uh, conversion is an option that how we are going to run our campaign that what is the goal of our campaign for example uh, how many people have clicked uh, it, it totally depends that uh, what we are what we are tracking we are tracking uh, the web we are tracking the calls we are tracking the uh, website traffic we are tracking the uh, purchase we are tracking forms it totally depends uh, what we have uh, what we have put in charge of conversion so this is the tab where we can have a look about a uh, look for the conversion actions conversion source all conversion status the value as we are not having an active campaign then that's why there is no values uh, pulling up here so when we will be running a campaign uh, it will be more easy for you to uh, understand that how these options work so for the basic idea you must have an uh, you must have an introduction to the interface so that uh, you get friendly you get you get master to the interface so that um, it's easy for you to navigate is it's, it's easy for you to make further changes another option is preferences here you can uh, just pull up the information you have already filled and you can make uh, make further changes for example like from the language account status time zone your contact information you can make changes in uh, regarding these options second last is access and security here you can give access to anyone if you have if you have hired a person for handling your google ad account you can give access from here you can choose the access level uh, what sort of access level you want to give here are uh, five options email billing read only standard admin according to the need according to your uh, actions uh, you can allot them you can just uh, fill up their email id and you can send invitation and our first option is billing and payments so here uh, here is the option that uh, how you want to add your fund there will be the there will be history of your transactions you can download the statement here will be the billing activity how you have added on which date you have added here is the option of the documents uh, as we haven't attached any document it's showing nothing is the promotion tab if there would be any active offer on your google ad account for example credit uh, for example like uh, if you use x amount of money for the google ads you will be getting x amount of cash back or x amount of google ads credit it's like billing transfer here you can get each and every information about the billing this is the payment method if you want to change your payment method that how you are going to add the money how uh, the transaction would be going you can just make changes here and it is and last is this setting option in setting option you can make changes to the account nickname country account type tax information address so here are all the things uh, here are all the details that you can uh, make changes these are the details that you have filled up while creating the account so you can make further changes if needed here is the help section if you want to leave feedback you can click here if you want to get help if you want to get help from the google ads customer service you can just contact us contact them from here here is the notification if you uh, if there is any feature update if there is any uh, if there is notification regarding to the low balance if there is regarding uh, if there is notification regarding to your current campaigns you would be receiving it here so this is the interface of google ads account uh, the new interface of google ads account so it would be something like this once we have some active campaigns definitely uh, these info these numbers uh, would not be zero they uh, these data will be reflecting our active campaigns results so once we create some campaigns uh, there will be a lot of information to study and to uh, start with okay so this is the active campaign and now let's have a look over the old uh, the previous version of google ads the previous interface of the google ads so this is the previous version of google ads uh, your google ads account uh, would be something like this if you are the previous uh, if you are the previous users like this is our old google account so for the reference purpose if there is uh, if there are users who are uh, who are uh, getting this interface due to uh, due to any reason uh, let me uh, make a tool for this so here are the tools and setting option i have already uh, shared with you the planning the keyword planner option uh, the performance planner 
depending on your current data of your campaigns it would be uh, giving you insights of how your ad would be performing on your future basis you can get the information here uh, let me show we are not having an active campaign so uh, it would not be showing us anything here okay so you can just uh, take a look look over it this is a keyword planner already we have created a video on that this is the reach planner it's for the youtube so you can just proceed with the uh, reach planner uh, it will give you insights for the youtube channel and we can uh, without this option also we can proceed with the uh, ads account uh, for the YouTube uh, YouTube promotion but still there is an option so you can definitely explore it this is the ad prevent diagnosis option if there any if there is any issue with your ad uh, if you if there is any issue with your ad uh, if if you want to preview your ad preview your ad if there are some changes to be made uh, if if any of the thing goes against the policy of Google Ads you would be getting a notification and you or you can make further changes here this is the app advertising hub so let's click on it. Let's check it. So this is the deep link validator. If you want to, if you want to check your app, you if you want to uh, just validate your the deep link to your ad, you can just pull up your information here. Like we are not having anything to just uh, check it over here. Check it uh, over here. So we cannot proceed with that. But definitely, if you have any app linked to your analytics account or your Google Ads account, you can just pull up the information and you can validate uh, validate validate. Your deep links here. Now this is the shared library option. This is the audience manager. You can create your audience here. This is the bid strategies for the for the ad uh, for the current ads. If you want to make further changes to your bid strategies, or if you want to make universal bid strategies, you can, uh, you can explore it here. This is the negative keyword list option. If there, are any, if there are any keyword you want to avoid, you don't want your ad to pop up uh, while mentioning those keywords, you can just uh, make a list of negative keywords here. This is the shared budget option. Shared budget option is used when, for example, like you have created three campaigns and you want to allot a shared budget to uh, those campaigns. For example, you want $100 to spend combining of those three campaigns. So you can create a shared budget. You can just drag those three campaigns uh, into particular ad group and then your shared budget uh, then your those campaigns would be utilizing your shared budget this is the location group you can make groups of location you want to target this is the placement exclusion list uh, if uh, for example like our ad is shown we are uh, we, we we have an option for showing our ad on the google on the google on the uh, Google platforms and the Google search partners. So if they, if uh, if you if you want to exclude your ad from some of the uh, some of your placement, if you don't want your ad uh, to be shown on few of the uh, placement, you can just uh, create a placement exclusion list. Like for example, you can create on the list and you can select that okay where you don't want your ad to ad to be shown. So you can create a list from here. You can add those things and you can save. This is the asset library, uh, images, videos, all the things, all the media uh, you are going to use in your ad. You can just edit uh, it over asset library uh, in a while so that you don't have to again and again upload your media files. This is the bulk option, bulk option for rules, script uploads. If you want to upload anything, if you want to make uh, rules, for example, if you want to make a rule regarding the ad strategy or the bid strategy, in bulk you can just create it from here if you want to make further changes to your ad in respect of script you can upload it here so this section is for bulk actions measurement again like uh, earlier i have explained about the conversion this is uh, where you measure your convergence this is the analytics account you can click it over here and you can pull up the details you can uh, just hover over over your data that uh, you are tracking for example if you are tracking your website you can track it from here that how users are uh, what's the dwelling time how users are exploring your website where they are landing where they are spending a lot of time so you can track you can track your customers so that you can make further changes or you can uh, you can uh, you can promote your further things accordingly so you can uh, you can have an idea about that what your customers are liking and what they are not liking this is the attribution option uh, Okay, let's check it over here. Check it over here.
this is an attribution option where where there is each and everything included in conversions are shown here so here is a look so here it here is a look back window you can just change it from 30 days to 90 days as we are not having campaign so these details so there is no data to show but here you can have a look around what is the path how they have interacted what was the device each and everything will be shown here your conversion path your path matrix your assistant conversions each and everything is uh, being shown here So it is an option for your attribution models. If you are, if your attribution models or convert conversion, if they're eligible for data-driven attribution, you will be having an option here. So you can switch it from here if you need it. Definitely, you don't have to click it uh, right now. You have to explore the uh, Google Ads account. You have to create some campaign. You need to generate generate some data. Then you can then you have to study and then you have to proceed with these things because uh, in starting this uh, this would be really. Uh, this would create a really mess for you if you don't understand these things uh, don't proceed with that you can just try over those things but uh, yet it's not useful for you right now now we come to uh, now we are now we'll be taking a look over the setup setup this is the business data or uh, the ad account the information you have filled up for the business information or your uh, google business profile it will be shown here this is the policy manager if you want to read about the uh, policies, the Google ad policies, or if you are violating your policy, you can check it from here. This is access and security already explained. Linked accounts or like Google Analytics or Google ad data or any of the apps you have, any of the accounts further or any of the other apps you have linked to your AdWords uh, ad account, it will be shown here. This is the global site tag. If you want to track any of your, uh, if you want to track movement of any of the pages, uh, you can uh, check it from here for example like if you want to track if you want to track your uh, user movement over your website you can uh, just add the uh, google uh, the global site tag to the to your page and you can track it from there these are the preferences you can make if you want to make some further changes here you can just uh, make uh, tweak the information this is the google merchant center it's not available for us right now so we are not going to explore it we are not going to talk about it but you can definitely have a look according to your choice and here is the here is an option of billing the summary transaction documents promotion setting we have already uh, discussed here is the information of your ad account so let's again go to the go to our home page so this is the uh, this is the interface of our previous uh, google account and this is the interface of our new google account so as we have already uh, discussed, as we have already talked about both the interfaces, so you need to just explore it. You need you need to just click on the tabs and uh, check those things. You need to study about it. If there would be any update regarding Google Ads, if there would be any updates regarding, uh, sorry, regarding the Google Ads or any uh, further announcements, you can uh, check it from here, or you can manually go to the uh, Google Ads and features and notification. You can check it from here. So you definitely must be aware about the further updates and announcements because they would be really helpful for you as we are as we are uh, the ads account specialist as we are the Google ads experts. So definitely we uh, we have to be updated with each and everything here. So this is the interface of our previous account. This is the interface of our new account we have created for you so that you you can have you can have some idea. So uh, further moving further, we'll be talking about the uh, what is campaign ad group ad extensions landing pages keywords uh, the schedule ad schedule locations what are dynamic ad targets dynamic ads search ads so we'll uh, talk about those uh, those things uh, in, our, in our upcoming videos so till the, uh, till that time you have to just explore the google ads interface you have to be uh, friendly uh, with the options so that if you need to make further changes uh, there there should be uh, no hesitation in